All right, at the box office, Paramount's smile shined bright last week and bringing in $22 million, taking the lead by a wide margin. On the flip side, Universal's Bros disappointed, a big loss for the comedy genre, which is not doing as well as it once did. Bros had a lot going for it, being the first major uh, studio LGBTQ rom-com with high critic ratings, but nobody showed up. I, I haven't seen any one of these. I guess I'm part of the data. Okay. I want to see bros, and I was rooting for bros, but mm. I'm not going to go see it in a theater because I don't really watch rom-coms in the theater. So I guess I'm not the only one, but I'm, I'm kind of bummed on its behalf. Well, I, I wanted to see Smile, but I, I'm also not going to go see it in the theater. You were leaning back even just watching I the trailer know, I was, there. I was he was really next like, to me like, uh, uh-oh, where's the jump scare? Shivers on my spine. Yeah, I get surprised when people just walk over to my desk on a daily basis, so I can't imagine what I'd be like in a theater Me watching a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't do that. You're going to see Pooh Perch? You're going to see Pooh Perch, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood, Blood and Honey? Poop. Yeah, yeah, the oh, Pooh. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm so excited for no. that. That but, I will but, go see. But it is really, but it Check is it. interesting. <laughs> but it is instructive <laughs> as to, like, what kind of movies people are still willing to see in yeah. theaters. Which oh, I'm seeing Pooh Perch. Oh, I want to see Angry Pooh. I'm definitely not seeing that.